we have uh, implemented the list control and after that whatever the data you can see it's uh, with the help of the JSON model okay so we have used the formatter in order to get this eligible non eligible based on the condition that is if age is greater than 18 okay so uh, should I be able to uh, means it is possible to achieve the same thing using the expression binding at least have you guys tried to means uh, um, look at through the topics like expression binding At least have you get a chance? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, so what, uh, so what is expression binding? So expression binding is uh, something it's, uh, is basically used when the formatters are not required. Okay. Suppose I, I have to uh, enable some, enable some components. So components are nothing but it's a controller. So suppose I have, I just need to enable some uh, the controls and the condition is very simple, right? So I have to test whether the value is same or in some condition if the uh, I'm getting some values from the JSON model and based on some predefined condition, I have to just enable or I have to calculate some values. So in that case, I will use the expression binding because suppose for formatter, uh, suppose you have checked only one condition, right? If the age is greater than 18, then it should display uh, the eligible. Otherwise, it should display the non-eligible. So for that, you have to write so many lines of code, right? You have to define the custom formatter function. Then you have to declare the, the basic syntax of formatter in the view. And again, in order to work, you also need to, you also need to implement it in a controller. Then only it will work. But it's not case when you uh, take it, uh, when you consider the expression binding. So expression binding is very simple as compared to the formatter. Just the, th uh, the thing is that you just need to understand the basic syntax. That's it. Once you understand the expression binding, it makes a lot of work much more, much more in an easier way. Lot of lines of code can be avoided with the help of expression binding. Everything can be managed in the view rather than writing the each and every logic in a controller. Because suppose suppose I want to disable the John, okay? I don't want to show it. So what you will do? You will write the code in a controller that is that is you will get the ID. Then after you will check the condition, and based on that condition with the help of methods. Uh, so you, you will call that method on the control and then that control will get disabled. So for that you will write the n number of code in order to achieve this. But in case of expression binding, it's just a single line of code. So with the help of single line of code, you can achieve this. So let me try to show you how it works. Okay. So yesterday what we have done, we have used the object list item right so then we have the type active so and then what we have done we have used the number unit for the formatting right so let me try to achieve the same thing with the help of expression binding okay so what I will do I'll remove everything okay I'll remove this so basic syntax for expression binding is you have to give opening and closing curly braces. Okay. Then, then it comes the equal to sign and then you have the dollar sign. Okay. And again, you have to give opening and closing brackets. Okay. Uh, sorry, the curly brackets. Inside that, you have to pass this uh, binding path, right? Because I want to validate it based on the condition age. Okay. So what I'm saying, so if age is greater than, if age is greater than 18, okay, because my, uh, the 18 is, it is a number. It is not a in, uh, string. If it is a string, I should have given it in the single quotes. Okay. 
So if it is greater than 18, then what I will do, I will check the condition based on ternary operators. Okay, it's a form of ternary operator where you, where you are checking the condition in single line of code. It's kind of a ternary operator. Okay, so what I'm saying, if age is greater than 18, then you have to give the question mark. And again, in single quotes, I will display eligible or second option would be if that condition doesn't satisfy, it will take non-eligible. That's it. Only you have to write this much line of code. That's it. Okay. Once, uh, so what I've done, so just make sure to use this syntax, write the opening, uh, just declare the opening and closing curly brackets, the curly braces, and inside that, follow the equal to sign and followed by the dollar sign and again you have to use the opening and closing curly brackets uh, sorry the cu curly braces and then the binding path and after binding path I will check the condition whether it's greater than 18 if it's greater than 18 the first it will choose first uh, the it will display eligible otherwise it will display non eligible that's it okay so once I refresh, see, right, it is working, right? So this is the simple way of achieving this. Why should I write uh, so much line of code in a formatter? I have to define the function, I have to create a separate file, and I have to validate it, then only it will work. Instead of that, instead of writing the uh, so much line of code for the formatter, I can simply use the expression binding. Okay, formatter will be used when you have to write the complex logic. Okay, suppose there is a lot of data and uh, and again you have to validate so many things. So in that case, the formatter is a good option rather than uh, the expression binding. But in such a simple uh, in a simpler kind of case, if the condition is too less, if you you just need to uh, check the condition as a single in a single line of code, then for that, I will recommend to use the expression binding. Okay. So uh, we have used the expression binding. So again, I will use one more property. Suppose uh, one more property is already available for the object list item that is a number state okay so what is number state so what number state does uh, it has a predefined values like error information none success and warning okay so what it will does if values uh, suppose I will check the condition if I am saying if age is greater than 17 then I will display the color in a green color okay user will get to know that only the green colors which are there they are only um, they are only available for the voting rest they are not eligible okay so in that case I can simply use the number state and I will try to try to use the same condition okay let I'll follow the same syntax list model age okay I'll say if well age is greater than 18 then first I will give success because success is a property it's a value which will be the the success we will set the property uh, sorry we will set the value as a success to the property number state or or I will tell to select error okay that's it let's refresh the application see what I have done the peoples or the candidates who are eligible for the voting for them I have given the green color that is a success and for the people who are not eligible I have set them as a you know red color non eligible right any queries
you can ask me now questions <coughs> yeah vinash yeah tell me suresh yeah uh, it is a, a one condition like if else but because uh, if you want to check with more than one condition like if else if, because directly yeah. in the you can hmm. you can also check uh, you can also check two or three condition in this okay it is also okay. possible but the thing is that uh, your code will look messy right everything you will write in a single line of code in this uh, the view part and the and this uh, part will get extend and extend yeah. for the complex logic you can use the formatter because uh, you can simply check with the help of if else and in the javascript format it would be much more easier than this right writing in such a way yeah so it would be better to use for only if condition if else yes if else or any condition if you want to calculate any values so you can also calculate the values in this expression binding but in our case it's not required so that's why i have not done but you can also do the calculation so each and everything is possible there are so many things in expression binding okay but the simple step to understand the expression binding is this i can i can also check the condition what i will do if i want to check two conditions right i'm saying if so this is the syntax huh? so when when you want to check the two condition based on the and condition so in that case i have to give the and and then ampersand then what i will do i will follow the same Hold on for a minute. Hmm. Okay. So I again I have to I mean sir, only the equal to sign is used only once. It should not be used second time. Okay. For second time, only this much is required. That's it. I can I can also check one more condition. so this is this is a simple format of expression binding so what i have done i have, I, i should be means uh, using expression binding it is achievable to set the property values based on the condition and you can also uh, you can also te- uh, set the predefined text whatever you want and what and you can also enable and disable the conditions or oh, sorry you can also enable or disable the controls if possible suppose what i need to do this is a object list item right so what i am doing uh, i am giving the clickable event okay so what i am doing for each and every list item i have set the property that is the uh, i have set the property of type as a active to each and every row so instead of making each and every list item as active i will only make the active those ones who are eligible rest i if i don't want uh, this uh, alex to be a clickable one it should not be an active active way so if i want to make that sure so what i will do i'll simply use the same condition okay i'll copy this but instead of giving the eligible i can give active and the person is not inactive okay once i done i'll simply refresh the application that's it then you can see okay so this is not clickable see i cannot i cannot open the dialog box but here i can open the dialog box this is how it works it's easy right it definitely reduces the lot of uh, a uh, lot of hard work <laughs> for writing the code that's why the models are important and it totally works on the model huh? okay so second thing suppose uh, so i have uh, what i have done so i'm setting the active if that is greater than uh, if age is greater than 18 but what if i don't want to uh, means i don't want to show that list item in the view so that can that can also be possible 
so there is a property visible okay so visible it is a property so it uh, the visible it takes the value in a format of boolean that is a true or false so what i can do I can simply copy this okay i'll tell not in single quotes i can sim directly give true or false true and if that is not satisfy then i can give false that's it so what it will do it will directly disable the list item which is not eligible see i can only able to see the john and sarah